What have we got here? With Dr. Dave. Oh, here we go. I might have something. Yes, finally. The yellow belly I've been after, hopefully. Oh, g'day, Stacey. Hey. Check it out. Oh, what have we got here? Wow. That's not a yellow belly. This is a, this is a red fin. Yeah, see, this is actually an introduced fish. One of the, one of the ferals. Now, I tell you what, if, uh, can, you, can you get changed, grab your waders and head down to Wonga Wetlands and you can find out more about ferals uh, introduced fish down there. Because sure. I need to, uh, I need to keep catching tea. So Stacey, we're just going to be uh, netting around here, dip netting for some uh, gambusia, mm -hmm. mosquito fish. Um, they seem to be a little bit tricky to catch in the traps at times, so we just try and catch some in the dip net, just sort of scooping around the weeds where they get and they like to live. Oh, and we've got one. Already? Yeah. Well, there we go, there's a couple of good ones. They're really detrimental to uh, a lot of our native species. Why were they brought in? Well, they brought in yeah. to control mosquitoes, but mosquitoes. Uh, as you know, there's still plenty of mosquitoes around. They haven't done a very Obviously. good job of that. <laughs> so mm -hmm. they don't actually really eat. They do eat mosquitoes, but they're not not exclusively. So they're not mm -hmm. they're not a very good control measure of mosquitoes. And some of our native fish are actually a lot better at uh, controlling mosquito larvae than uh, mosquito fish. <laughs> We tend to shake, we want to shake everything down into it. So Rex, what are we likely to have in here? Well we've actually caught a, a lot of redfin in this little backwater, in this billabong. And um, redfin are, are also called English perch. Mm -hmm. They were introduced from, from England. Um, and they actually grow quite large, so as big as our most of our medium-sized native fish. And, um, they're, they're well renowned for their, they eat other fish, so, yeah. so basically they really, they're predators. So Rex, can we go up to the bank and have a better look? Yeah, sure, no worries. They basically we untie it and um, they'll just all, all fall out. Lots of them. Are these are redfin or English perch. So all these fish we have seen today have been introduced to Australia and have become serious pests in the Murray-Darling Basin. There are now 12 species that have been introduced. Unfortunately, people are responsible for introducing these fish into our waterways. Wow, so I made it without getting wet. Yeah, you did well. So Luke, what exactly did we find? One of the really interesting things that we found here, Stacey, is, is an oriental weather loach. These are an introduced species and quite a nasty little fish. And these are actually uh, an escapee from the aquarium trade. So people like to keep these in their fish tanks and they've uh, escaped out into the wild and are now uh, causing havoc amongst our native fish. So the really important lesson there, kids, is uh, if you've got goldfish or any uh, aquarium fish that you don't want, don't no longer need, uh, don't let them go into our river systems or flush them down the toilet. Make sure you either take them back to the pet shop or, or dispose of them humanely. What have we got here with Dr. Dave?